Boris Johnson has been given some key advice to ensuring Nicola Sturgeon's dream of Scottish independence does not happen. The Scottish public took to the polls back in 2014 and voted to remain part of the UK but despite the results, Scotland's first minister is pushing for a second referendum once the threat of coronavirus has gone. It is believed coronavirus has offered another opportunity for increased support for Scottish nationalism, with Ms Sturgeon repeatedly condemning England's response. Support for the SNP and independence has soared with more than 50% saying they would vote in favour. The most recent panel base poll, commissioned as part of a series of ongoing polls by Business for Scotland, asked, should Scotland be an independent nation? Between August 12 and August 18, 1,011 people were asked with the results revealing 51% were in favour. Around 42% were opposed to independence and around 7% were undecided. Despite support for independence growing, Mr Johnson has vowed to refuse a referendum on the matter while he is in number 10. Ms Sturgeon's predecessor Alex Salmond said the 2014 referendum was a, once-in-a-lifetime, opportunity. However, the First Minister argues the majority of Scots voted against Brexit in 2016 and therefore the nation cannot be tied to the Union against its will. Although the UK formally left the European Union back in January, Negotiations are currently ongoing with neither side able to come to an agreement, and the SNP argue it will be an economic catastrophe. In her remarks this week, Ms Sturgeon said the self-sabotage of Brexit strengthens the case for Scotland becoming an independent country. In his latest column in the Mail Online, Stephen Glover suggests Mr Johnson will have to give in at some point but urge the Prime Minister to wait until Brexit is finalised. He wrote, Recent polls suggest a narrow majority for independence. This would surely increase if Ms Sturgeon were able to portray the Scottish nation as being thwarted by English Tories. I don't suggest Mr Johnson should put up the white flag at once. Better wait until it's clear that Brexit is not the economic catastrophe the SNP predicts, thereby undermining one of its core arguments. But in the end, it will be impossible for the Prime Minister or his successor to stand against what the First Minister will represent as a desire by Scots to have a democratic say in their future. 